Hello and welcome. It is Friday, it is June 19th, 2020 um, and um, I, I have beautiful weather. It's amazing. I'm not at home as you can see um, but even if I'm on the road I always try to do my poem, my reading of the day and today I would like to read to you a poem that was written by Liesel Müller who lived from 1924 and died this year in 2020 and Liesel Müller was a poet and translator and she was born in Hamburg Germany in 1924 and she was the daughter of teachers and she and her family were forced to flee the Nazi regime when Müller was only 15 years old. They immigrated to the US and settled in the Midwest. Müller attended the University of Evansville where her father was a professor and she performed her graduate study at Indiana University. She died in February of this year, shortly after her 96th birthday. In an interview with Elizabeth Farnsworth from PBS, Müller revealed, I am always haunted by the sense that I could have been somewhere else. There, but for the grace of God, go I. That kind of thing, and that's the reason I chose as my title poem, or as a title for the book, a poem, Alive Together, which is in the book and was written quite a few years ago, and which is a kind of catalogue of all the people I was thinking of, who might have been at various times in history, and the miracle and the accident that it is that any of us are who we are. Müller's work frequently engages history as well as the folk and fairy tales she studied as a graduate student. As she told Karen de Bruyne Cruz, I write a lot of poems that have tension between what is going on now in society and what has always been there. My poems are much concerned with history. The message is obvious. My family went through terrible times. In Europe, no one has had a private life not affected by history. I am constantly aware of how privileged we Americans are. And today I would like to read you her poem, Afterthoughts on the Lovers. I imagine them always in summer, with roses running a loose-lipped hazard around their book as butterflies, poised in the net of noon. I think of her silent, wholly brought under siege by his voice, st staring her fever down to the marble squares, hearing and trying not to hear how sweetly Lancelot played the queen. What if they had outlived their fill-blown summer, had dwindled into the blight of autumn, and shedding their leaves had brought them dreams, such dreams, if mind on the prowl of flesh had set its teeth on love and pointed fingers at their furtiveness. What if no violence had sealed their mortality for us who need to think of love as a fixed sun, impervious to our passing in and out of the shade? So how do, you see, how do you perceive past relationships, the loves that have passed through your life? Are there the what ifs or the regrets, the anger, the pain, the fear, the longing? What is left when it's over, when there is nothing left? I think Afterthoughts of the Lovers describes this so beautifully and clearly and sometimes it doesn't need many more words. And I chose the song, Somebody I Used to Know by Gautier to go with Liesel Müller's poem today. And of course, as always, you can find the link to the Poetry Love playlist in the notes of this video. And I hope I will be able to do a poem again tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure, but um, have a look out and take care. Bye bye.